they've drained the river. This is the Pearl Brewery, but look at all these fish. I don't know if the camera can see this, but there's probably 25 giant carp and another 25 decent sized catfish all right there. <coughs> Schools of sunfish. Wow, They're, they just hang out right in the center right there. Uh, probably the deepest spot now. Yeah, well now it is, but yeah, go. let's go find the rods. So I, I, I really hope the camera can pick up that and get through the water, through the glare. There's got to be a hundred fish all right there. So we weren't even going to be doing any fishing or anything today, so we didn't bring any gear. But I'm kind of wishing we had. I don't know, like I'm not sure if the camera could pick any of this up, but they, they drain the river, and there's literally hundreds of big fish right here, like catfish and carp. And then there's handfuls of bass out there, tilapia everywhere. Uh, from what I understand, they were planning on coming in with nets and relocating the bass and catfish and then trying to eliminate the, the invasive species like the tilapia. So there's, there's, there's good fish all over the place in here. So I don't know if they're actually going to relocate any of them. Because these are, this would repopulate the entire river if they did relocate these further south. I've never seen so many catfish in one spot before. Yeah, like two, three pound catfish like that. Yeah, like the smallest one out there is like two or three pounds. And there, there's some giants. There's a handful of, there's a whole school of like 20 bass right there. Nothing like crazy big as far as the bass go. That, one of them's got to be about a pound. But the catfish and carpet here are huge. Good sized tilapia over there. Two of them. Yeah. School of small catfish came out from that corner. A couple of them, like three or four. Oh, that's a big tilapia. Yeah. Is that a bass? That's no, a that's, yeah, it's a tilapia. I should have brought my sunglasses, put them over the lens. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is the craziest thing because. I've seen three, three to four pound bass pulled out of this hole right here. And there's just <laughs> the bricks. What's funny is I'm not seeing a whole lot of debris like from people throwing stuff in. Maybe they've cleaned out a lot already. I think they just drained it yesterday. So. Yeah. What's that? I didn't know there was that big of a depression. Uh, yeah, that, that drain right there. That, or that pipe. <laughs> it's funny because I've always caught fish in that corner right there, but I never knew this was right here. You know, you know they'd be stacked up in there in the winter time. Oh, yeah. Look at that! There's a big tilapia just hiding right there. Mm -hmm. The turtle. So this is something they used to do every single year. That's why the fishing downtown was never any good. They would, they would drain it every year. They even had the mud festival, and like people would like go and metal detect in there and find stuff. But yeah, they used to do this every year to uh, clean out all the trash and the mud and the muck and everything on the bottom of the river because it would clog up the whole channel. The whole river would get clogged up with that stuff. So they would do it every year, and then they they did something that solved that problem. So now they only do it every like three to four years, I think. So that's what they're doing right now. It's actually really interesting to come and see what the the landscape really looks like that, that we've been fishing in. So it, it's a lot different than I expected it to be. I mean, for the most part, like over here, it's about what I expected. But I expected it to be like flat, not so many rocks. There's a lot of rocks and stuff in there that I didn't expect to see. And drain pipes and all kinds of like crevices and places thing places for people to hide and there's somebody fishing up here so let's go talk to him and see he might not want to be on camera but it looks like he's fly fishing yeah he's fly fishing so i don't know if he wants to be on camera but uh, i'm gonna go talk to him for a minute and see see how he's doing so they're probably 18 inches each yeah at least 18. Well, that one's probably about 15, and then the rest are up around 18, maybe more. I saw a way bigger one that way, though. Yeah. 
That one was pushing at least 25 inches. See, but I've also had these chase after Sankos and stuff out here, too. <laughs> when you okay. can see them. Yeah, they went to work there. Man. <laughs> well, yeah, the guy that was fly fishing, he definitely knew what he was talking about. He, uh, apparently, we just missed him landing about an 8 to 10 pound carp. And uh, we, I didn't record it, but we even saw a big koi, like a giant orange koi in here, which he says he's been seeing that one for a long time and trying to chase it and catch it, but there's some nice bass. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I'd never seen it down here. I had no idea the population was actually this strong for like the numbers of fish that are here. Like I knew the tilapia was like this, but I didn't know the carp and catfish were like this. Tilapia, there's something, maybe a pleco or something right there on the bottom. Yeah, right there too. Yeah. Is that a bass? That's what I was looking at. The, the one right here that's not moving looks like a bass. Another catfish down there. It's kind of good to know right here. Yeah, I didn't know there was a hole. Look, there, look at that. Oh, that's a pleco. Never mind. I didn't know there was any kind of holes like that over here. Oh, yeah, it's a drain underneath the, the underneath the sidewalk. It goes under it, like that over there. Hotel room keys. There's another one over there, but that one's, everything else is like all this muck and stuff built up on the side of it. This one's got a hole leading into it, so there's more fish stacked up right there. Like those, yeah, a handful of them. That's actually probably the smallest one I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember the one over there at the, underneath the bridge? Small one? Yeah. No. Yeah, we were underneath the, where Record Ridge is at. Oh, yeah. That little tiny one. It was about to freeze the next day, like it probably wouldn't survive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. And like the smallest one in there is at least two pounds. <coughs> All those carp. It's crazy. I'm starting to see more trash over here too. Like yeah. maybe they haven't cleaned up this far yet. It gives, oh, it gives hope tomorrow then. You're gonna call in? Nah. <laughs> One of the biggest bass I've seen so far today. Maybe 10 inches, not too big. Here we go. What do we got here? Let me zoom out. So, yeah, we have a few January days. January 6th to the 9th. We have a few days then. Okay, so they just drained it today then. So, yeah. Battery yesterday. Yeah, one of these days. But if they drained it yesterday, the shuttle would have been shut down yesterday. I mean, it probably would. That's, there's a school of tilapia here following a, at least a three pounder, three pound bass. That's the biggest bass, that's the biggest bass we've seen today. Yeah. By far. Like he's three times bigger than anything else we've seen. <coughs> you see, he's got a gang of tilapia now. Yeah, the tilapia are following him around. Yeah. He's probably protecting them. He's pushing them around, you see that? Yeah. That thing is huge. It's gotta be largey. Yeah, he's definitely a largemouth. I don't know, it's kinda dark though. Well, their colors are gonna change with this depth of water. But, he's looking at me. <laughs> Go down there I would say a minimum of 19 inches right there. 18, 18 to 20. That big bass turned around and went back. Oh, some giant carp and some good catfish. Nah, not really. It's a big carp, like about that big. Really? Yeah. And then if you go further down over there, there's a whole group of carp and some up over there. Just two puddings, they're about that big. Yeah. All right, so just talked to some of these guys here. They're cleaning up all the trash. And uh, right. talked to that one guy. He gave me some good news. He said they're not relocating all the fish. So that big bass that we saw that was able to swim around and stuff, he's going to stay, stay here. So they're only relocating the ones that get trapped. 
like in really shallow water and the ones that are in danger, those are the ones they're relocating. And uh, they're also trying to get rid of some of the tilapia that are in here. So that's that's good news for me especially. So and it's it's nice, it's really nice to see the populations like this, how many fish there are of each species. And and that they're cleaning the river too and like also get a good idea of what the landscape looks like when we're fishing this area. We know what it, what it looks like. They just went through all through this, cleaning up trash. So, I mean, it's draining the river, and some people complain about it because it looks bad, but, like, they're doing a lot of good work here. So I'm not going to complain, especially if they're leaving the fish alone. That's another nice bass. That's a largey, though. That's a largemouth. Oh, he's going into the part where you can't see him anymore. But he's he's 14 inches. He's a keeper size. He's a two-pounder. Pound and a half, two pounds. Yeah, yeah. Can't really see him on the camera, but carp down there. Yeah, so Bunch. You can see all the humps of the fish out there. Bunch of them in the, the stream over there. Mm -hmm. deep over here. Yeah. yeah, I didn't realize it was gonna be this deep though. It's crazy. Look at that, look, there's something giant right there that's like stranded. Is that a big old carp? See that? Yeah, it's a big carp. Try to zoom in on him. Look at that. Giant stranded fish. I think it's a carp. If that's if that's a pleco, that's the biggest pleco ever. <laughs> so. I feel like they haven't come this far down though. I can't even make no, there's a lot of footprints over here. Mm. They probably just couldn't get out there. A lot of trash. Yeah. That is. What is that? that I guess it's carp. a. It's not dead. It's still breathing. He just can't move. That'd be a good bait. That's a. That is a giant carp. That that is the biggest fish we've seen today, and he's stranded right there. So this is how they drained this section of the river right here, because there's usually a dam right here. You can see the water line where it is. But they just lowered the dam and let all the water out and swept everything downstream probably. So I'd say it's at least 15 feet deep, maybe more on this side. And then it drops like 10 feet down to this section. There you go, Greg. There's your scooter. I don't know if the camera can see it. Yeah, there it is. That's the only scooter we've seen. There should be a lot more. We walked away for a little while and came back and that giant carp is gone. So he got away. He's not stranded there anymore. Try to, oh, there he is up there. Oh no, that's a giant tilapia. Never mind. Don't see the carp though. It cleared up over here. And the carp's gone. Yeah, he got out. I don't know where he went. <laughs> yeah, there's some, yeah, that's probably him right there. Yeah, that's probably him right there. I don't know, that looks smaller than he did. And then there's another big catfish over there. Yeah. Some giant tilapia down there too. Look at that. Look at that tilapia right there, dude. That's gotta be a five pound tilapia. <laughs> Look at that. That thing is giant. They're gonna have to struggle for life. Yeah. Hey, there's the big koi. Try to zoom in. There we go. He's probably a 10 pound koi right there. Swimming with the school of carp. So yeah, uh, I was really surprised at the population of fish that was in there. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go back and fish it tomorrow. So thanks for watching this video. Come back tomorrow and see what we catch there. I'll post that video tomorrow. Uh, well, the day after this video goes live, whenever I get a chance to do that. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to check that out. So, see what we can catch.